Yo, 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 what up? This call down in my dark and here to address the, uh, the uh, Gary Russell with Terrence Crawford altercation. Um, it was the Pan Am camp, 2007. We just made the Pan Am team. And it was the first camp we had before we were going to uh, Brazil. And what happened was me and Bud were sharing a room. And the first day of sparring is always the hardest. So I was just wanted to cruise through it. So I wasn't really doing too much. So long story short, it was, we spar, it was competitive or whatever. All, my sparring are always competitive, you know, especially with elite athletes. All our sparring are going to be competitive. So long story short, you know, I heard that Bud was, had called his coaches or whatever and told them that I was easy work or whatever. I heard it through the grapevine, you know. So long story short, I asked G. I'm like, G, did you hear that? He was like, yeah, I heard the same thing. So I'm like, all right, I'll say, I'm going to turn it up on him. Next time we spar, I'm going to turn it up. So the next time we spar was like the, two days later. So we and me, me and Bud share in a room. So we in a room about to go to sparring. So we talking shit to each other, you know, competitiveness with each other. We talking shit. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to turn it up on you today. I'm going to turn it up on you today. We get in the ring, we boxing. But it got so heated. Like, in between rounds, we weren't even going to our corners for sparring. We weren't even going to our corners listening to the coaches. So once the coaches got whiff on it, you know, they was like, yo, these dudes is really fighting. So we were in the ring going back and forth, back and forth. I'm swimming without getting wet, you know what I mean, talking shit, talking shit. And Coach Dan seen how serious we were with each other. And he just basically was like, yo, stop, stop, stop. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. They stopped the sparring session. You know, we wasn't doing computer uh, scoring. That's the parents, that sparring session. You feel me? But they stopped it because we were too, like, serious with each other. So when they stopped it, you know, uh, Bud got out the ring. I'm still in the ring. And he walking over there to where, the, uh, where everybody at, where the, uh, the rest of the team at. So I'm on the tip, like, man, fuck out of here, nigga. Ain't want nobody running. He was, like, kept saying I was running. I'm like, ain't nobody running, nigga. I'm swimming without getting wet. That's what it's called. Hit and I get hit. You know what I mean? I said, nigga, your defense is basically gonna keep you around. So he over there talking to G. So I turn back around. I get out the ring on the other side of the gym. I'm getting my gloves ticking off. And I hear them going back and forth, going back and forth. And I hear uh, uh, Bud say, yeah, Mark, uh, Mark Davis was, Mark Davis was, you know what I mean? Be getting, on, be getting in your ass, be getting in your ass. You know, and then Newt, Rossi Warren was there. He was like, oh, hey, Bud, come on. Don't put Mark in it, that's between y'all. Don't put Mark in it, that's between y'all. Whatever. And then, like, a couple seconds later, all I hear is, oh, I turn around, and, like, they breaking, they holding the motherfucking, they trying to grab Terrence or whatever because he's trying to get loose or whatever because apparently he just got sucker punched. So I didn't actually see it, you feel me, but I heard everybody say, oh, and I turned around, you know, it was it was basically a big altercation, break, everybody breaking things up and shit. I didn't actually see the sucker punch, you know. But before the camp, when we was at the, tro the uh, qualifiers, they had Terrence they had got into an altercation with one of the guys from Puerto Rico, and they was fighting in the um, in a the, um, they were fighting in the stands, and they told Bud, "Yo, if you get in trouble again, they're gonna kick him. They might they're gonna send him home." So that incident happened, and they wound up uh, the coaches had a meeting, and they wound up sending him home, you know. But that's the part of the story that I remember. You know, I wasn't, um, it wasn't the Olympic camp because Deontay Wilder was never, I don't even, I haven't, I don't remember seeing Deontay Wilder when we were amateur. You know, um, I don't remember seeing Deontay Wilder. He, I definitely didn't, was never in camp with him. But um, the sucker punch, actually, the sucker punch did happen. I don't know how it happened, you know, or whatever, because I didn't see it, but I was definitely there, you know, and basically, that's what happened from my point of view, you know? So if anybody was there that say I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, re I'm here to argue, I'm ready to argue, you know? And, and, and yeah, I was, the, I, was, I was the man. I was the man at that time, but you know, caught up in the streets, caught up in a whole bunch of bullshit. You know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? It, I, I, I came a statistic, you know? But at the end of the day, Bud's story is kind of actually accurate because it was the Pan Am camp. Deontay Rado wasn't there or whatever, but, you know, it, the sucker punch did happen. It did happen. I don't know how it happened or whatever, but it, it, it actually happened. So there it is. Luis Yanez was there. Rashid Warren was there. Um, uh, 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 Louis Del, Lou Del Valle at 125 was there. 
Um, uh, 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 Sean Porter was there. Demetrius Andre, Adam Willette was there. Uh, 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 might have uh, a couple other people was there, but I don't remember. But that's my po that's my point of view from the story. All right. So.